Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to cover out a little bit of laser uh, safety slash um, operation. So one of the pieces here that I've noticed is, is uh, people really don't understand the reflection that happens off a CO2 laser. So this is what I want to cover out in this episode. So what we're going to do is take a look at via the infrared camera uh, the reflected light from several different materials. We're going to use glass, wood, and, and, and a coin. So you can kind of see how this is all, you know, see how much reflected light. Now, one of the things I'd like you to note is, is watch in the back corner. Watch how much reflected light actually comes out of the, uh, the primary opening in the back where the, the first order mirror is uh, in the back there in the infrared camera. I think it'll surprise you because this is what I want to show. Because one of the things, this laser operates about uh, 10, uh, 1064 nanometers, about 1064 nanometers. Nanometer is the length of the wave of light. And being 1064, this is higher, th this is higher or lower depending upon how you look at the scale. It's more towards the red side of the scale. So it's, it's larger, less energetic waves. And that's one of the things that helps it burn objects is they absorb that longer wave and convert it to heat. And so as you get more to the blue spectrum, although the waves become more energetic, they become shorter and become a little bit more reflective where the longer waves are uh, absorbed as heat. And again, for the laser aficionados out there, I'm, I'm making this a little bit high level for the general laser user, but I mean, I, I think you get the idea. Um, with that, a lot of objects reflect light. And again, you can't see this light, but it's coherent light. And when I say it's coherent, this means all the power coming out of this is at 1064 nanometers. It, the light you're seeing, the ambient light you're seeing, is a whole bunch of different frequencies, and this is what makes up the color that you see. So one of the issues and one of the safety concerns I have about the reflected light from this that, that folks don't understand is that it's coherent light. So again, as I've already mentioned, it's at one frequency. So when it gets focused by your eyes, it gets focused to a very small area, not a, diff not a, a diffuse area. Um, again, and I'm waxing at this a little bit of high level for safety in, in kind of in layman's terms. So there is a danger, even though it's lower powered reflected light. So this is why safety goggles are so important when working with this. Um, and, and this is why the safety goggles typically for this frequency of laser are made of heavy acrylic because what happens is that heavy acrylic ab absorbs that longer wavelength light before it makes it into your eyes attenuating it coming in there so um, I think I rambled enough on this let's go ahead and let's um, start taking a look at, at uh, uh, attempting to cut some material and let's see what the response is and again oh uh, the camera I'm using is set to see light only above 960 nanometers. Uh, so any of the light that you see from this, the frames will be rather dark, will be light in the infrared spectrum. So important to note. So uh, now that I think I've said that, let's go ahead and let's light up the laser. Okay, so one safety note. I am going to be wearing my goggles. I do have a web camera set up down here to watch this. The room is clear of any pets or other people. Um, I am going to do this top open. I do not recommend doing this yourself. I'm doing this only for demonstration purposes. And I will be away from the, the unit watching through the webcam and not watching directly. So I won't see what happens on the infrared camera till it happens. So, But again, pay attention to this back opening, how much this lights up and how much uh, infrared um, uh, leakage that this has. So let's go ahead. Okay, we've now swapped out the wood for a piece of red glass, so let's go ahead and start the red glass.
Okay, now we're going to try a copper coin. Okay, finally, we're going to try Glass Bobble, and we're going to see how this one does. Alright, welcome back. So we've now tested um, a piece of wood, we've tested a piece of glass, we've tested a copper coin, we've tested a piece of acrylic, and we've tested a piece of uh, glass or glass bobble, thicker piece of glass. So it'll be interesting to see how it comes out. Now as you've probably seen as I've edited this, I put, pro I put commentary into the footage uh, from the infrared upon reviewing the infrared. I've done this before and that's why I wanted to, to note I wanted you to see how much backscatter comes out of that hole in the back which is important because again you might be just standing here running a machine looking at that hole not realizing that quite a bit of infrared light is coming out of that hole and entering your eye and your eye is focusing it because remember your eye has a lens in it so it works very much like this guy at the bottom so just because this lens isn't focusing it on your retina does not mean the, the lens in your eye isn't focusing it on your retina. So you have to be very, very safe when, when operating one of these and be, very respectful of it because, again, what can get you, you can't see. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more questions, hit me up below. Look forward to them. And cheers. We'll see you in the movies. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.